Why be content with comparing two handsets when you can compare three? The Nokia Lumia 620, the Nokia Lumia 820, and the Nokia Lumia 920. Three of our favorite handsets out at the moment, but how do they stuck up against one another? And why are they so different? Kicking off with design and the most fun is an Oculumia 620. Removable back covers on both of these 820 and 620 devices, but the 620 is bulbous. It's really, really kiddy, um, but kiddy with class. It's well put together. It's really solid in the hand. We'd actually, even if you wanted to put a more conservative back cover on, such as the white one, recommend it to a mum, a dad, a business person even, because it's even available in black. It's such a versatile phone. We absolutely love it. And it's cheap as chips, available for just 150 quid. You're gonna be paying a lot more if you're looking at a Nokia Lumia 820, between 300 and 400 pounds offline. However, you do get a lot of perks. You've got a much, much more solid build with a thinner form factor. You've also got NFC technology on there, um, as well as the option of 4G LTE. So if you're concerned that your contract is gonna shift to 4G soon, then the Nokia Lumia 820 will be the one to opt for over the Nokia Lumia 620. What you also get is that AMOLED screen tech, which is really vibrant and poppy. If we jump onto the Lumia 920, you do get that LCD technology, not the AMOLED technology, it's 720p resolution. And you also get that LTE, which really separates the other two phones. However, you also get an optically st um, stabilized image. And that means that if we are gonna go and take a picture, for example, and we shake our hand, it will actually correct our handshake. As you can see, as soon as we let go of the camera, our handshake's much more apparent. Really, really smart stuff and definitely worth the extra outlay, especially if you do a lot of low light shooting. In terms of design, the most fun, the middle most fun, and the most serious. We'd say this is a beefiest, beefiest device. It's girthy in order to accommodate that optical image stabilization. It's quite classical, reminiscent of the Lumia um, 800, but it's certainly bolder. It's not quite as elegant, we'd say. And once you've made your choice of back cover, you are stuck with it, unlike with the other two, which are customizable to the high heavens, if indeed you splurge out and buy additional back covers. These are the 620 ones, by the way, and are available for between 10 and 20 pounds. Great stuff. So moving on to the uh, screens, as we said, WVGA, WVGA HD, that's 720p HD, LCD, AMOLED LCD, great pure whites up and bottom, really vibrant poppy colors and deep blacks for the 820. Um, really, really comparable stuff. I mean, the least sharp one is gonna be the Lumia 820, so that's probably gonna be the worst one for reading text on and stuff like that. It's gonna be really nice and vibrant for pictures though and movies. The 720p resolution on the 920 is gonna be absolutely perfect for movies. And for the price, you really just won't do much better out there than the 150 quid Nokia Lumia 620 with its LCD display, all endowed with clear black technology. Now moving on to the UI, Windows Phone 8 across the board, and they're pretty much identical, aside from all the NFC related applications available on the higher end devices. Both of um, all three pack Nokia maps, Nokia Music and Nokia Drive. Nokia Drive is Nokia's offline GPS service, which we can pull up here for you. Nokia Maps is Nokia's mapping service, which uh, gives you access to, again, offline maps, which you can't pull up at the moment because we don't have a connection. And Nokia Music, what well, we've got standard music service, Nokia Music is um, gonna let you download mixed radio playlists. So that's playlists that are curated by Nokia's fantastic music team in, I believe it's Bristol, somewhere in England, and put together for your audio pleasure. All great services separate uh, the Nokia devices from other Windows phones and indeed any other devices, hands down. Makes Nokia our preference in terms of their Windows 8 functionality every single time, but comparatively identical. So whichever you opt for, you will get all those fantastic services, not to mention the incredibly beautiful clean UI found in Windows Phone 8. That comprises of home screen on the left hand side all your start menu as it's called and on the right hand side a list of all your applications. Your applications can be pinned to your start menu with a long press and the tiles are created on the start menu which can be resized, made really nice and small, really nice and big and plopped about wherever you want. It's worth noting Windows Phone doesn't have an uh, aggregated notification center. So you'll have to keep an eye on these live tiles to see all your notifications. However, if you jump into your lock screen, you can easily, easily see 
when you have a missed call or what not. So that has been a look at the user interface. As far as the cameras on all the devices go, you've got a five megapixel, an eight megapixel, an 8.9 megapixel sensor. The optical image stabilization makes an Nokia Lumia 920 win out every time, especially in low light shooting. The eight megapixel sensor on the Nokia Lumia 820, um, sorry, that was 920, this is the 820, is just not quite up to scratch. Other eight megapixel sensors on the market, such as the HTC One X and Samsung Galaxy S3 perform slightly better. The 5 megapixel on the Nokia Lumia 620, however, is very, very good for the £150 asking price. So all in all, in terms of their class and their price points, you're not going to do much better than these two. The Lumia 820 is good, but not great. In terms of storage, you've got 8 gigabytes of internal storage, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, and 32 gigabytes of internal storage. Actually, just worth double checking that that is actually 16 gigabytes of internal storage on the Nokia Lumia 620. Let's just check that now for you. Um, storage. Home storage. Oh, no, nope. eight gigabytes. But it is expandable via micro SD card slot. So both of these are eight gigabyte devices, and that is 16 gigabytes of internal memory. Um, sorry, 32, but non expandable. So it depends really on what you want. If you see yourself uh, installing loads and loads and loads of applications, you might find eight gigabytes a little bit restrictive on these two. However, with Windows phones, app selection not being quite up there with Androids, we don't see that being a huge problem with eight gigabytes being ample. The Nokia Lumia 620 packs a one gigahertz dual core processor out of both the upper end devices pack 1.5 gigahertz dual core processors. Performance on the Lumia 820 is actually the best because the screen doesn't put all that much pressure on being only WPGA resolution. The Lumia 920 is probably the second, well, is without a doubt the second best and really, really shows off that gorgeous 1080p display. It's also got a faster refresh rate than any of the other two. So everything in terms of the UI just looks beautiful. The Lumia 620 with its one gigahertz dual core processor is the weakest of the bunch, though we would certainly say don't make that think it's an underperformer. With Windows Phone 8 being so efficient, the app selection being quite limited, and there aren't really any applications that really push these phones to their limits, we're certainly not going to be worried recommending the Nokia Lumia 620 to most people out there. It's also got 512 megabytes of RAM, which is perfectly respectable. Finally, battery life. They will all pretty much last a day. The Lumia 820 has the strongest battery life. The Lumia 920 lasts a day, but if you're using it heavily, please carry an external battery or charger with you because it may well run out halfway through the day. And the Lumia 620 is, uh, again, gonna last a day pretty comfortably, but again, if you're using the screen very heavily, it might die by about 10, 9, 10 p.m. So that's been our comparison. It's been quick, it's been short, but it's also been quite in depth. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have any questions, please fire them in the comments section below. If you like this video, click like. If you wanna to subscribe to this channel, please do.